feel fat in this shirt. I'm gonna be recorded and put on YouTube. That's awesome. I'm curious about the uh, I'm curious about the bathrooms. Why uh, there's two? I have to wash my hands now because a lady might come. All right. Um, I, I got the story. Is just, all right. It's a quick story. I uh, I have horrible anxiety. I've had really bad anxiety since I was a kid. And um, like for example, um, I was a hypochondriac, and my bedtime prayers used to go like. Uh, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray, Lord, my soul to take. If I should die before I wake, I pray, Lord, my soul to take. Please let me get AIDS, cancer, Lyme disease, strep A, bubonic plague, black plague, fall into a pit of lava, drown in quicksand. Please let me break my neck, break my back, get in a plane crash, amen. Like stuff like that, that's how. Like I once went to the emergency room because I, uh, I was peeling carrots and my hands got itchy and I thought my throat was gonna close up and the emergency room doctor's like, that's insane. I've never heard that in my life, but here, take these steroids but I was afraid to take the steroids because I thought they were gonna make my penis shrink. <laughs> so I like kind of just like shifted them over into my, it was weird. But so, I don't know. I'm just gonna say curiosity a lot later on. But uh, I, um, we'll get there. I, um, I got a, it all coalesced into a, a horrible anxiety attack. I, um, it, I was driving, I don't know if you've ever had anxiety attack, like I was driving and um, I felt the, the most scared I've ever felt in my entire life. It's like the whole world closed in on me and I pulled over to the side of the road. My eyes went in different directions, my tongue swelled up, and my hands, he's laughing, my hands <laughs> contorted towards my chest. I thought I was having a stroke, so I called 911 and I was like, I'm having a stroke. And they sent five fire trucks, three ambulances, two cop cars, and by the time they got there, I was fine. And they're like, what happened? I was like, I, just, I had a stroke really quick, but I'm, I'm good now. And they're like, nah, I think you had a panic attack. And I was like, nah, I don't. So they sent me to the doctor and the, the doctor was like, yeah, you had a panic attack. You need to quit your job, quit driving, quit drinking coffee, sit in your room and listen to Beethoven. And I was like, that's, how am I supposed to live? So I was, so for years I searched for a, a cure for anxiety. My friend was like, there's this guy, he's gonna be at a party tomorrow and he has the cure for anxiety. And I was very curious about the cure for anxiety. So I went to this party and I must, there was, I was on the lawn with, a, there was like a ton of people and I must have looked confused and curious. Cause this, uh, this girl was like, what, what's wrong? What, are, you look confused and curious. And I was like, I'm looking, I was like, I'm, I'm looking for Billy, this guy, Billy. He supposedly has the cure for anxiety. And she's like, oh yes, he does. He's up in that tree house. And uh, sure enough, in the middle of the yard was this big tree with a spiral staircase that led up into a tree house. And in the windows, there was like strobe lights coming. I was like, oh. So I went up the, I went up the spiral staircase and I went into the tree house and it was packed with people. And uh, somebody was like, can I help you? And I was like, I'm looking for Billy. This is, this is totally true. So I was like, you don't believe me, but it's true. So she's like yeah billy's over there i was like i heard he has the cure for anxiety and she's like yeah he's right there so the crowd parted and it got like super quiet and at the end of the crowd facing away was this man with like long bright red hair and i made my way over to him i tapped him on the shoulder and he turned around and he had like this warm smile and right away i started to feel at ease and i was like billy i heard i'm joey how you doing i heard you have the cure for anxiety and he's like i do this is the end of the story i'm just trying to stretch it out a little bit longer but he's like <laughs> He's like, I do. And I was like, well, are you, can you tell me? And he's like, yes, I can. And I'm like, well, what is it? And he's like, you wanna know the cure? And I was like, yes. He's like, the cure for anxiety is anxiety medication. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He's like, or sometimes I just drink a beer really fast. So anyways, I don't know. The point is for years I searched, I was curious, I don't know, I searched for, the cure for anxiety. I don't know, I didn't quit my job. I didn't, I didn't quit driving, I didn't quit drinking coffee, but um, I, I don't know what the point of this story is. I, was, I never thought I'd be on stage talking in front of people, but here I am. All right, thanks.